Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Well today we're gonna go over and pick up a critical boondocking tool. So why don't you come along with us? We'll do a small unboxing and review and we'll see how it works. Get in there, big dog. Okay, go. Oh. Yeah. So we've been boondocking here for a couple of months and one of the least fun part is closing up the rig, putting everything away, hooking up, coming up here to the dump station and dumping. So we're going to go pick up a portable tank. I'm not sure exactly what it's called. Sometimes they're called Blue Boys. The one we're getting is gray. So we're gonna call it the Gray Boy. Tina, Tina's so fondly named it the Green Boy. Or I'm sorry, the Gray Boy. So um, we're gonna go pick that up at the mail service um, that we use here in Quartzsite. And then, uh, like I said before, I'm gonna do a small unboxing and we'll take a look at it. Um, and uh, we'll put it through its paces and see how well it works. So that's where we're headed now. We're back and we've got the, uh, the tank here. So this is the Rhino Tote Tank and it's a 28 gallon portable RV waste tank. And you can kind of see the details on it down here. It's got a gate valve. It comes with uh, it comes with a hose kit and uh, some fittings. It's actually got a ladder hook on it, so you can hook it on the ladder on your rig. And it's got grooves, so you can strap it down. Um, one of the things that sold me on this one is the the high ground clearance because out here in Quartzsite it's kind of rocky, and uh, I didn't want to drag it on the ground and tear a hole in it. So a uh, pretty nice unit. We're gonna unbox it here in a second um, and check it out. And I'll kind of give you the ins and outs of it. So just a little inside information and uh, a full disclosure. This is actually the second one of these I purchased in the past few days. Um, the first one I got um, was exactly like this one, same model and everything, but the big tires are held on the axle by a cap that is driven on the end of the axle and I was towing it to the dump station and one of the caps came off, the wheel fell off in the middle of the road and I actually drug a hole in the bottom of it. Um, so I immediately called Amazon. They were super good about um, sending out a new one. The old one is gonna go in the dumpster. They did not want it back <laughs> for obvious reasons. So um, what I'm gonna do with this one is I'm gonna make a small modification. I'm gonna show you that today. Now let's get this one unboxed and I'll show you the modification I'm gonna make on the axle. We'll get it put back together and then we'll be able to uh, test it out. Little package of parts so this has got your your hose and all the little elbows and caps it even come, comes with some orange um, tank deodorizer packets 
the tow hook. So this hooks on the front of the tank and hooks on the ball of your RV or of your truck so you can tow it. Comes with short, like a three foot section of waste hose. And then it comes with this little flushing hose. Um, it has its own built in flush, kind of like the RV tank. Um, so they give you a little separate hose so you don't uh, use your drinking water hose. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is unpackage these parts. And I'll kind of show you how they go on. It's pretty straightforward, really simple. Um, it's pretty much fully assembled but there are a few things that you have to do so we've got um, some caps here um, that simply go on like that and uh, these little rubber lanyards that go on here that keep you from losing the caps and then same thing for these little caps that go on the flush ho garden hose connections. So one goes here on the top, and then there's another one. It's a plug that goes right here. They give you these two black caps, which are pretty cool, because you can put them on the end of the hose to keep, to keep from leaking stuff out everywhere, which is kind of nice like that so I really like that I've turned the tank around and this is the exit obviously here's the side valve which makes it really nice this is the cap they give you for the side valve and then right inside here on the side it's kind of difficult to get to but uh, there's a place for this lanyard to snap in so you hang it on the ladder on your RV with this hook and then it has grooves in the side for straps so you can strap it to your, lat your RV ladder. Nice little compact unit 28 gallon and um, overall I'm really happy with it. It's a really nice uh, little tote tank. I want to show you real quick the Achilles heel in my opinion of this tote tank and how we're going to fix it. This is the axle and wheels off of the first unit I bought and let me spin this around you can see here on this end this cap and this is just I don't, i'm not sure exactly what these are called but it's just like a hat and they drive it on and it pinches on the end of the axle somewhere on the road this one fell off and of course the wheel came off and and it drug and it literally drug a hole i mean i didn't drag it more than maybe 10 feet and it drug a hole in the bottom of the tank and of course you know the results of that i ended up having all over me what we're going to do um, to remedy this is i'm going to drill a hole in this axle i'm going to see if i have a flat washer that'll fit on this um, and i'm going to put a cotter key in here and that way this can never slip off unless it shears the key before we start using this new one i want to i want to fix this issue so I just happen to have an assortment of cotter pins with me in the rig. I'm actually going to use a 532nd cotter pin, but we're going to use two of those. And we're going to drill a hole in this axle. Okay, so I popped this cap off with the screwdriver. And this actually has an inner, an inner and an outer washer like this. Well, it's going to have a washer, but you don't really need this inner one, and this axle is kind of short. So, this bearing rides right on the edge of this axle. So, I'm going to put this back on like that without the inner bearing, without the inner washer. And then I'm going to put an outer washer and the cotter pin. I'm going to mark this with my handy dandy Sharpie. Right about there. Pull this wheel off. And I can drill this hole. There 
we go. Now, that can't fall off. Let me do the other side and we'll be good to go. fall off so we're gonna get it dumped we're gonna toss it to the back of the truck apologize for the wind and head back to camp well as you can see mission poop dump was a success the wheels didn't fall off our cocker pins held and we're good to go I'll go ahead and put a link for this um, tote down in the description. Everything about this tote is great. I really love all the features and that's one of the reasons that I decided to pick it up. If you have the ability to modify it like I did, great. It seems to uh, be working um, like I expected it to. Another project in the books. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Until next time, safe travels. Bye.